We want to talk about the Quran. We want to talk about the Birmingham manuscripts. And we want to talk about what you've been hearing in the news concerning the Birmingham manuscripts. You've all been told that the oldest Quran has now been found here in England, in Birmingham. That came out about two months ago. And you heard that the date on that is 568 to 645. You've heard that this is about the same time that Muhammad lived. He was born in 570 and he died in 632. Therefore, it corresponds with this date that the prophet Muhammad lived. About the same time period. And of course, many Muslims are saying, including also Dr. Thomas in Birmingham is saying, this is so close to the time of the prophet Muhammad that these could be the very words of Muhammad written down on parchment by those who knew him. Are you all hearing that? Yes. There's a number of problems and we're gonna go into those problems. One of the first problem is we need to look at the classical account. What does the classical account say? And according to the classical account, you will see that Al-Buhari in volume six, hadith number 509 and hadith number 510, that it's very clear according to the traditions, it's very clear according to Al-Buhari, writing in the ninth century. Now remember, he's writing this in the ninth century. He died in 970. Sorry, sorry. 870, the ninth century, 870. So about 240 years after the Prophet died, Al-Buhari tells us that it was Uthman, the Caliph Uthman, that compiled the Quran in its final form. That when Muhammad died, the Quran had not been written down in its entirety. It had, yes, those people had memorized it. Parts of it had been written on stones. Some of it had been written on bark. Some of it had been written on other pieces, but it was not compiled as a complete book. According to the traditions, there was one book that was written at the time of Abu Bakr, about 632 to 634, about two years after Muhammad's death. And that was given to one of the wives of Muhammad called Hafsa. She put it under her bed and it remained there for about 18 years. In 650, according to Al-Buhari, what we read here, in 650, during the time of Uthman, the third caliph, he had four men, Zaid ibn Thabit, Zubair, Alas, and Harith, rewrite the Quran. And then they were to take that final copy, the Uthmanic recension, and send it to the many provinces. Now, we know that four of them were sent to four cities. There have been men, many, probably others who were sent to other cities. We know one was left in Medina. We know one was sent to Basra. We know one was sent to Baghdad. We know one was sent to Damascus. So that's the final Quran. That's the Quran, supposedly, that we have in our hand today. That's what we're looking for. Therefore, after that, what we do know then is, according here, he took all the manuscripts, whole copies, and he burnt them. So those that were left behind, the manuscripts that this final copy was derived from, all these other manuscripts were then burnt in 650 at the time of Uthman, according to Al-Buhari, writing in 870. Can you read the text for us? He ordered that all the other Quranic materials, where they're written in fragmentary manuscripts or hall copies, be burnt. But now, he that's what you just said earlier. Terry, we're going to continue on. No, no, no. You, wait a second. You said he made sure your understanding was he actually burned them all. But what you just read, when I asked you to read, he ordered it to be burnt. He ordered it to be burnt. Between ordering something to be done and seeing it to be done. Ah. So were there some manuscripts that were not burnt? So my point is, here we go. Read 
Were there manuscripts that were not burnt? And Mansur is going to say, yes, there are manuscripts that were not burnt. Fine, let's hold that. Let's assume you're correct. There were some manuscripts that did not get burnt. Great. There may have been manuscripts. And I'm going to agree with Mansur. I agree with you. There weren't some manuscripts that were not burnt. We're going to get to that. It gets better, folks. So that is the classical account. And that's the account all of you have heard for 1,200 years since the 9th century. This is what you're taught in your schools. This is what you're taught in your seminary. This is what you're taught in all of the universities, even here in England. This is the only narrative you've ever heard, right? That's not true. There this is the only narrative you're not heard. That's not the only narrative we've heard. We've heard so many other narratives. Okay. Fine. So why are you lying? But this is the one that we find in Al-Buhari. This is the classical account. Now here we're going to ask you some damaging questions. Look at these dates. 568 to 645. Do these predate or postdate 650? Even the latest date, 645, is still five years before the time of Uthman. That's the first problem. What's the date of? What's the median date for six? Sorry, 658 what is the to 645. Date? Excuse me. What does the median date? What, what is the about? central date? Wait, wait. In what dating? is the central date In for there? Do you have such a thing as the median date? Go there. We're praying. We're talking about the median date wait, wait. because here the Muslims will say we have to use the latest date. Wait, wait. What is the median? Do you know how dating is done? We know how carbon dating okay. is done. Tell us about the one sigma and two sigma variances. Go on. We're not going to talk about the one sigma. I don't Do know what the one sigma are. Do you know what they are? But we know that between these two dates, the median date is 606. Do you know what the one sigma and two sigma variances are? Is that important for this? Very important. Okay, go ahead. Tell us why that's important. Do you know them? Why is that important? Because I don't think you know them. No, I don't. You're right. Why is that important? Someone who doesn't even know what a one sigma and two sigma variance in carbon dating is talks about a median date. So obviously you have no knowledge. Okay, just go to the point. Yeah, go just go to the on, point. Mansur, tell us your hang point. On, hang on. Hurry up. Wait a second. We're not going to wait. wait. We want second. to know what your wait point is. So, why are you not trying to learn about this one sigma uh, and two sigma? You're not making sense. Go to the point. Why aren't you learning? Mansur, what's your point? Because everything you say. Are you saying, therefore, that we should not use a median date? That we should not find what is the strongest date between the two variants? Do because really. Carbon, carbon, dating dating is not exact. Us, carbon, carbon dating is not exact. Carbon dating is not exact. He's only correcting you. Brother, brother. Okay. Do okay, give us your point. Do scholars, like where it's done in Oxford, right? Radio carbon accelerator unit. Go ahead. Do they use a median date in radio dating? Radio carbon dating? They take the two variants and they come to the median date. That's really? why we want to look really? at the median really? date. Because Have what you, the Muslims are not telling you is that they've got yeah, a first date. Yeah, no, Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. You got the top. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Where, where in Oxford they actually mentioned a median date? Go on, tell us. Where did you see that? Where did you hear it? Where did you read it? We're putting the median date there. Well, you are putting because the Muslims so only want you to look at the later date. So basically but even the later dates are you earlier you than Uthman. Statistically, you go for the median, you don't go for the latest. Yo, my friend, my Right. Statisticians would not Mansur, use the, the, listen the way to what I'm saying. The median date listen. is the reason. The reason we put there is why because is the it? Muslims don't want us to do this. Why is it? They you only know, want you to do the later dates. Do you know why? why what? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Is this the only manuscript that has been dated? No, there are various others. There are various others. Give me another one. The British Library one. The British Library. What are the dates, the carbon dating on that? You tell me. I don't know. I don't know the British Library. Give me the oh, ones right now. Know? I don't know the ones on the British Library. Okay. How many others do you know of? I know of two others that we're going to talk about. Okay. Just two others? We're going to about two others. I can give you five if you're interested. Ah. So you only know about two carbon dating when the scholars talk about five at least. Okay, give me the dates for the Ma'il one. So, so give me the dates wait, for the Ma'il one. So you want us to teach you again in Speaker's Corner? Sponsor? Have you not gone to our If website? you're going to bring it up, give us the numbers. What are the dates for the Ma'il manuscript?
While he's doing that, no, no, stop there. Don't talk. Don't talk. What do you mean, don't talk? If you want to talk, you can hit the speaker's corner. We're going to keep talking, folks. Remember the date we're looking for. We're looking to see if these folios, and these are not full manuscripts, these are folios. The Birmingham folios are just two pages, front and back of both pages. Carbonated manuscripts. You this thing? Give us for the money. I'm going to give you something, I'm going to see whether you're aware of it or not. So let's hear some of it. Have you, have you heard of R38? Manuscript R38. Say again, which one? R38. Have you heard of BNF331? Yes, I have. Okay, when is it dated to? The dating is, I don't know the dates for it. I know of the manuscript. I know of the folios. So do you know when it's dated to roughly? BN331. 331? That's the Biblio Nacional. That's the Biblio Nacional. And what is it dated done to? By the Rochers dated that to the 8th century. No, carbon dating. Where is the carbon, carbon dating? dating for that? I'm asking you, do you know? Actually, we do know that. Where is it dated? Right here. Yeah, go on. Tell me. There are the dates. Which one? This is B N. This is from. No, I'm sorry. This is not the B N one. I'm sorry. This is the Sana manuscript. Okay. What's the B N one? Three three one. Give us the date for the B N three three one. So you don't know? I would like you to learn. No, go ahead. We're gonna learn from them soon. What the dating is for the B N three three one. Calf forty seven. Q A F forty seven. Have you heard of that? Have not heard of that. Right. So why don't you? Why are you so reluctant? To learn them. We put this up in stomach awareness long time ago. Go ahead. What are the dates for those? The, the carbon 14 dates. These are all within the seventh century. Give me the dates. Name them out. What are they? No, no, I'm not going to teach you the dates. I'm going to go and ask you to read the dates. He's just wasting your time. He's just wasting your time. It, it doesn't have a point. I have to spoon feed you. Anyway. So all 38. 95% probability, 648 to 691. 68% probability, 656 to 675. You didn't know that because you are so reluctant to learn. No, and I, know, so I don't know. have a difficulty right. with the B and the British right. National. Right. I'm sorry, the Bibliothèque right. National in Paris. What about? We do know the B and F is a later date. But you're not talking about the Sana manuscript. Okay, let's talk about the Sana manuscript. Get to the Sana manuscript. How many times has it been dated? I read a couple of dates. Twice. Wrong. Try again. Twice it has now been Try dated. again. I give you Recently. the opportunity. Now I give you the chance. Try again. So you can correct yourself. Go Try ahead. again. Let me hear what you have to say. No, I'm not going to tell you what I'm saying. Try again. Sir, because your point, ignorance sir. is not going to help anyone okay. in the crowd here. Gabriel said wait, wait, Reynolds. Wait. Do you know who Gabriel said you are, wait. Reynolds? Dr. Gabriel look, said look. Reynolds. Monster. I am not you know interested in your Dr. ignorance. Do you know who Dr. Gabriel said Reynolds is? Are you familiar with him? Has he, he is actually, he is head of department at Notre Dame University in the United place? States, in Indiana. And he is, especially, is the Quran. Well, and he is now quoting, hold on a minute, no, he no, didn't no. do the material. Let's go to he is now material. quoting two different laboratories that have just now dated the Sana manuscript. And, oh, I haven't looked and seen which ones they are. They are fragments from the Sana manuscript. They are fragments that are dated both in Arizona Laboratory and in Lyon in France. What are the dates? Here we go. We're going to show you the dates. You notice Mansour doesn't like you to hear the dates. No, but take doesn't. a look at these dates. 543 to 643. Which manuscript is that? This is the Sana manuscript. I don't know which one. I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head. So but look at the lower wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know which look one it is? Look at the lower one. Mm -hmm. 443 to 599. Which one is that? 443 to 599. Now these are both from the Sana manuscripts. Which Sana you don't know? Gabriel said... Reynolds didn't give us the actual numbers. Are these the only two radiocarbon dating done on that particular manuscript? Let me look at the dates, folks. No, I'm asking you because I have a Sana manuscript that is dated by one, two, three, four, five different lines. And what are the dates for those? It's a moment. I'm asking you a simple question. These two dates that you are quoting of a manuscript which you have no idea about. Go ahead. Have they been only dated in these two labs or are they dated elsewhere? Ah, so here we're going to see. Can you see, folks? What do you want to say is there are different dates for different parts of the manuscript, therefore we can't trust no, the earliest no, no. dates. Let me correct but you. Let me, let's look let and me see. correct you, Jack. Let me correct Let me you. look and see. Let's correct Why you. is it that these Jay. dates are so early? Jay, let me correct you. Once Go ahead, again. Right. The Codex Sana 1, INV.01-27.1. So I gave you which Sana manuscript. So now you've learned, right? Okay. So what do you say? This is 
84 Leo manuscript. It's been carbon dated at Lyon, Zurich, Oxford, Arizona, and Kiel. Do you know the differences in the dating? Let me show you how there can be differences. In Lyon's, 95% probability was between 388 to 535. Even before, see how so early? The fourth century Wait. to the fifth century. Listen. Thank you, you're making my point. Yeah, and you learned something about carbon dating. Here we're gonna go. Right. In Kiel, it was dated to what? 95% probability of 430 to 611. In Arizona, 576 to 670. In Zurich, I'm talking about the 95%. 566 to 657. In Oxford, 595 to 658. Folks, I'm using your term. Folks, did you notice? Each lab has differences within the ranges of the dates. So how do scholars interpret these variations of data within different labs? Here we go, folks. Certainly, certainly. Why is no. it? Well, and how do I'm we interpret sure. it? Let's go to that interpretation. First of, all, first of all, scholars would take Leon's, which if you were to compare between Oxford and Leon, or Lyon, how do you pronounce it? Leon. Leon. Which one would they go for and why? I'm they go for you. the 443 to 599. No, no. Between the they two They could laps. have gone for the 341, the one that's in the 4th century. You're not listening to the question, They're John. going to the 5th and 6th century. Scholars, scholars. Would they prefer the lab in Oxford or in Lyon? And why? I would suggest that they prefer both laboratories. Wrong again. Try again. That they would prefer both laboratories. And you'll see why. No. Monsoon, we're no. going to show you why. I'm giving you chance. Because why is it we're finding yourself. such early dates? Why? why is it we're finding dates you're that making, even predate the Birmingham dates? Sense, I'm giving you a chance to Monsoon, learn. Monsoon, I'm going to answer so, you. You ask the question, no. let me answer. The scholars there is a reason, folks. What are these manuscripts? Jay, yes, what please. are they? Where do they come from? Jay, it's obviously Jay, Jay. that they're pre-Quranic. Oh, it's obviously oh, they're pre-Muhammad. And it's obviously they're pre-Islamic. All the labs, are they equal in their testing procedures? Are they equal? I would suggest that you're going to find manuscripts that will even go back to the second century. The more we test, the more we're going to see All these labs in their testing procedure, in their robustness. Are they the same or are there differences between them? And Listen, we say, I trust the Leon lab, I trust the Arizona lab, I trust oh, the Oxford lab, place. and I trust the Zurich lab. He's but not, folks, not can you point. see what we're getting to? I am answering it, Ali. Look and see what we're what finding. About the scholars? You're going to find, folks, that there Which are going to be many dates. Go for? But do you notice, I most of these newer dates are earlier Jay, than the time Jay. of Muhammad. The scholars would go to which lab? Between the five. They would go to all five. <laughs> they would go to all five. Have you asked them? Have you read their papers? Are you saying that one lab cannot be trusted no. while have another you, lab is trusted? Have you when they're read? using the same process. Excuse me. They're have using the read? same dating initiatives. Listen they're carefully. using the same mechanics. Jay, listen carefully. Go ahead. Have you read their articles where they're discussing these issues about carbon dating China manuscripts? And, no? there's dis and, what this and they're dismissing the Leon lab, is no, what no, you're saying. We don't I'm know asking. anybody that dismisses the Leon lab. But folks, can you see you why? Why is it? Ali, I have answered it. Well, here we go, folks. Why is it that they don't, that the Muslims don't want to accept these early dates? They are wanting to say that the scholars are disputing with the Leo lab. The scholars are disputing with the Arizona lab. Folks, you need to ask a better, bigger question. Have you noticed that these dates are pre-Islamic for a reason. Jay, would you be kind enough to tell us which scholar... Can I just give you his name? No, listen. Gabriel said Reynolds. Which Quranic... Gabriel said Reynolds has just now come out in the last two weeks. He has now dated listen. and he is saying, this is curious because what you're going to find, they also, there's another work going on in Germany. <laughs> we know that the Quranus, Corpus Quranicus is also dating and they're Corpus finding Quranicum. similar dates. The Corpus Quranica <laughs> is also coming out with similar dates. But folks, why is it the Muslims don't want you to hear this? Why is it that they're fearful of this? And what is it that we're looking at here? Remember what we said here. Let's repeat it. We repeat this game again. What did we say at the very beginning? What did we say? This is the classical account. Excuse me, this is the 9th century account. But what we're now finding, 
though he disputes these Jay, dates, Jay. he doesn't like these dates, it's and he is trying to find scholars you. that will agree with him. Folks, like forget him. about like the Jay. dates. Jay. We now realize Jay, that listen. they are all, most of them are now going to be three Islamic. Listen. Go ahead, Mansur. According to the Quranic scholars, excellent. Yes. So, according to Derosh, for example, do you think Derosh is a better qualified than your scholar, Gabriel Reynolds? I think Derosh is going to have to change most of what he has written no, no, I, because Derosh has not been using the carbon dating. He has been using paleographical studies, which are fine, and we need that. But remember, everything that we have used today has followed this model. We have assumed that this was correct. We have assumed, therefore, that the Arabic was unstylized. The Arabic was very crude in the 7th century. That the diacritical marks were only added in the 8th century. That's what we've always assumed. But I haven't finished with this. But these yet, datings are much Jay, earlier Jay, than the 7th century. Jay, listen. Much, let me finish no, now. Let me finish. Walk, listen, let me finish Let's before you continue. The subject. Because every week he comes, no Muslim can answer it. Maybe some Muslims can. So let's see whether some Muslim can answer your question. Because you want to speak to someone who doesn't know the subject. Let me ask you, the Sana manuscript, the Dam 20, 33 1, is that already carbon dated? I assume it is because you just said so about 10 minutes ago. I didn't talk about that. You said the 331. You asked me no, if I knew it. No, that was PNF 331 in, in, in Paris. Okay, what is the damn 331? What is the right. Sana manuscript? What is the dates on it? Is it already carbon dated? I have no idea if it's been okay, carbon dated. Fine. So why don't you read our papers that we write for you to learn, but you don't want to learn? Besides the point. It's been dated, the parchment has been dated. What about the ink? The ink has not been dated on any of these. According to who? We are know that they're not been dated. And we're waiting for the ink to be dated. Have you read Derosh's book? On the Umayyad? The, the, yeah? Yes, I have. And you haven't read date, anything like that? Did he date the ink? No, I'm asking you to read it. clearly that the ink is not dated. We need to date the ink. This particular manuscript, to my knowledge, it's been ink's been dated. And do you know the difference between the parchment and the ink? How how close they are? Are they early? Is the ink early, contemporaneous, or later? It's always later, obviously, because the parchment's first. Right. So how late is it, do you think? Just have a guess. I have no idea. Go ahead, okay. Monsieur, give us a guess. So like this particular manuscript, 95%. You know what the 95%, right? Yeah. Do you know what it means? I said the 95 percentile is within those two ranges. Do you know what it means, 95 percentile? Well, means? it's better than, than 94 percent. Go ahead. Okay, so fine, fine. Very technical uh, answer. Very technical. <laughs> 645 to 690. The ink's been dated 700 to 730. How far off are these parchment dating to ink dating? About 30 years. 30 years. So now let's return the Birmingham manuscript. Okay, hold on a minute. I, I, 30 I, I, years would be the latest date. I, the earliest would be five years. Yeah, five right, to 30 right, years. Six, nine, 645 to 690, and it's 700. So that's 10 years. 10 years. Right, 10 years. So let's return to the Birmingham manuscript. Okay, hold on a minute. Wait, I haven't finished. Are there palimpsests? Are there writings underneath? Yes, there are. On the down 331, Wait. there are also inks underneath. There are different layers of ink on the sauna manuscript, am I not correct? Yeah. And when you look at the different layers, you will see that those will be earlier. Those we have yet to look at, and that's why we're waiting for Elizabeth Prince book if on it. Have, if you have a 10-year gap in the ink dating to parchment dating, translate that to the Birmingham manuscript. So you get an extra 10 years to generalize, and that date falls into which reign? Which Khalifa's reign? Which one's reign? Fitting exactly with your traditional account. So you should retire and go home. <laughs> but we're not going to the Birmingham manuscript. Have you noticed? He only wants to stay with the Birmingham manuscript. We're going to now go to the Sana manuscripts. We're going to look at these dates. Now, folks, why is it that we are finding earlier dates? Why are we finding these earlier dates? What's the significance? Say, is there a point in any point talking anymore? Do you want to talk about the top copy? Because I want to teach you something which Here we're going to go look at things, folks. What do we know about the Quran? When you look at the Quran, you will see that much of it is borrowed from other sources. Just like the Bible. Just like the Bible. Bible? We're not talking about the Bible. Oh, he knows no, no, no. we Why don't not? need to talk about the Bible Have today. What we have noticed, folks, is many of the stories, like the many of the stories like the in the Bible. Quran, 
are borrowed from other sources. And what are these other sources? You know the stories. We know in the Quran. The stories like Cain and Abel. Stories of Surah 5, Ayah 27 to 32. Have you noticed that that is not in our Bible? We don't have any story of Cain killing his brother, watching a bird scratching in the ground and burying his brother like he follows the example of the raven. So where does that story come from? We know where that story comes from. It does not come from Muhammad. It does not come from Jibril. It comes from the Targum of Jonathan ben Uzziah, written in the second century. And redacted till A now. good 600 years earlier. Well, it was written, presumably. Do you have a manuscript from that date? Oh, listen, we have lots of material from that date. Okay, which here we go. Which and Uzziah? here what's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. These Don't. are the stories that Excuse the Jews me. passed Dad, down. I'm not gonna Look let you go at one. the story of Abraham. Dad. The sources which, what Targum, Targum, Mishnah, which one do you say? The Targums, the Mishnahs, no, 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 that the Sanhedrin, Cain these are all Jewish apocryphal Slowly. accounts. Cain and Abel's story comes from where? It comes from the, the Targum of Jonathan ben Uzziah. Targum of Jonathan ben Uzziah. Written and in the second century. The extant well known when, in the second century. Finish, the extant manuscript of this Targum dates from where? When? Ninth century. Ninth century. Is that post-Islamic or pre-Islamic? Do you see what he's saying? Games he wants to dismiss every one of these. He wants to dismiss all of them. Yet we have not only different versions, we also have many references to these. Do we not tell me have references that go back to the second century? Do we know who Jonathan ben Uzziah is? Do we also have an extant manuscript of the Mishnah Sanhedrin? And what does the Mishnah Sanhedrin say, Matsun? What is it dated? What is it dated? What does the extant manuscript of the of the Mishnah Sanhedrin? Yes, that's a fifth century manuscript. Where is it? Where is it? It's written in the fifth century. Who wrote it? A scribe taking that which is written by Benedict John Uzziah from the second century. He writes out the story of not only Cain and Abel, but he writes out about the blood of Abel. And what does he say about the blood of Abel? Mansur, Mansur, Mansur. We have engaged. Mansur, let me finish my point. Before you keep yelling and yelling, listen to what I'm saying. Look and see what it says. In the verse 32, the very next verse. Point by point to Mansur, you have, you have no listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. These are Jewish apocryphal accounts. No, These are well known the by the fifth century. These were not created after the Quran was written. Can someone None of these are created after the Quran was written. Can you see why Mansur doesn't write it? Because this shows that these are borrowings. I want to have a debate on this. Are you brave enough? Just like we're talking, we're going to carry on. Come on. Go ahead, fine. Right, thank you very much. Are you okay? No, not a ladder. What'd you do right here? I'm going to stand on the ladder. I'm going to stand on the ladder. Come on, Mansour. Give him the ladder. Equal, 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 equal. Equal opportunity. So we're not talking about a debate, we're going to carry on. So I'm going to ask you, the manuscripts, extant manuscripts of Sanhedrin, dates from when? Ninth century, probably the earliest would be the ninth or tenth century. Ninth century. Let me ask you again: Is this post-Islamic, meaning after Islam, or pre-Islamic? They're Jewish apocryphal writings. No. Are they post? Yes, when they are post. Day, are they borrowed from the Quran? Jay, no, they're not. Jay, listen. When you say ninth century, Islam prophet came in what? Seventh century. So two hundred years later, you're using a two hundred year later document to say the Quran borrowed from a document two hundred years later. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying? Next point. We know very good and well that these were there from the second century on. There's reference after reference, are there not, Tony, yeah. to the second century where writings? Are they? Where are there they? are reference after reference Go up until the fifth century. Give us the There's a whole panoply Go of on. enormous material that we do have Hello, on this, do we not? Where are the references? Where are the references? From the Mishnah. No, from the where Sarah. are the references from manuscripts that are older than the Quran? We don't have manuscripts anymore than we don't have ah, manuscripts of the Quran. So let's move on to the next point then. So, okay. hang on, are you going to be consistent? We have extant cuneiform tablets of Gilgamesh, Atrahasis, and Enuma Elishapik. They predate your Bible and biblical manuscripts yes. by thousands of years. And these cuneiform tablets, do you know what they talk about? They talk about flood, they talk about creation. They're also in the Quran. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm showing how consistent he is or not. Now, scholars of ancient Near Eastern texts or Anet 
They have done papers, many papers, and interestingly they have shown how the story of flood, the story that you have in the Bible, and the story, let me finish, let me finish first. I will tell you if you allow me, if you allow me. So, this Gilgamesh and Uma Elish and Atras is epic. They have accounts of the flood. Both of flood. In similarity and in chronological order. In how much similarity and how much chronological order? There are at least, hear my word, at least 17, not 15, 16, 17 instances of similarities in chronological that's, that's, order. That's because it actually happened. That the biblical account. That, that's because it's historical. From those accounts. Okay, According to, let me finish. Let me finish. No, 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 you finish. Yeah, I haven't finished. finished. I haven't finished, Jay. I haven't finished. According to your methodology that you're using, the Quran talks about stories of Cain and Abel. We find the same stories in Targum and Mishnah and so on. Now, if you use the same standard, which of course you don't want to use, so I'm not going to accuse you of a hypocrite, you can work it out. If you use the same standard and you find your Bible, which is much, much later than those cuneiform tablets. You should use the same method and say, the Bible borrowed from those ancient Near Eastern texts. <laughs> Why don't you do that? Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to use the same standard. We're going to use the same standard and we're going to look at the dates. The Gilgamesh epic are from the 6th century BC. Atrahasis tablets are from what date? I told you they're 1635 yeah, BC. They are. So they're a over a thousand years earlier than the Gilgamesh epic. Mm -hmm. Do you notice the same story has not changed in a thousand years? What is interesting is that they're very simplistic, are they not? They just talk about a man and a woman who are in a, the garden and they just don't like even serve drink. They just talk about a flood. Just like folks, in the Bible. Hold on a minute. Are these the only tablets that talk about floods? No. Are these the only accounts? I give you the Almost ones. every Enough culture has a flood account. Right. And take a look. They have a flood account, but it's not like the flood account we have in the Bible. I just told you. And when you look at the biblical account, the story of Cain, the story of Adam and Eve, and the story of the Garden of Eden is quite a bit different Even than that, that which you find. Are you going to let me speak context. or are you going to interrupt me? Otherwise I can interrupt you. So we interrupt each other? Yeah, because okay. that's what you're trying to tell. have a much louder voice. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, here we go. Yeah. When you look at the Atrahasis, yeah. when you look at the story in the Gilgamesh epic, does it take you anywhere? Is there anywhere you can go with it? Can you see? It's very simplistic. Which suggests it has been borrowed from another source. Look at the biblical account. And when you look at the biblical account, you will see that not only is it foundational for everything we're going to read in the rest of the Bible, it is the one of the only stories that you can find where you see how sin came into the world. The enormity of what sin had done. The fact that sin is what separated us from God. See, that you don't find in the Quranic account. That you don't find in the Gilgamesh epic. Yeah, and the Can you is, notice, see, if the rest of the Bible from that time on know the goes back to that point. If it's saying, that if it's we are separated from God, why I love my Bible. No, no, it is no. not copied from those accounts. No, those accounts are the copies Quranic of what the Bible said. Jay, because that account remember, Jay, would have been written in 1400 BC. And in 1400 BC, folks, Jay, Glenn, wake up. In 1400 BC, when you look at that account, folks, you will see very clearly that their God had to eradicate and had to walk some man from his presence. Show me in the Gilgamesh epic. Show me in any other account the Atrahasis tablet where you have this this side and this side of God. Folks, can you see why now the scholars are now looking anew at the Bible? Because they're realizing that the Bible does talk about the right people at the right place, at the right time, doing the right thing. Can we give you some other examples? Let me give you an example. Using the same criteria you just asked to me. Quranic manuscripts. Are you afraid to talk about them? We've just been talking about it. No, we haven't finished yet. We just started. We only started to talk about the Quranic manuscripts. Top copy manuscripts. That you talk about every time, oh, yeah. even just two weeks ago, is this our last week? Because you're just repeating, it's like, you know, um, Groundhog Day or something, you're repeating the same debate like you did last week. Go to the point. Right. The point is, 
Don't copy manuscripts. How much percent complete is that? 99%. Oh, you learned now. Of the 99%, right. how much of it is right. missing right. within that 99%? Right. Because not all of it is complete. I haven't finished. There are many Jay. holes in it. I haven't I'm not finished either. You wait till I finish. No. You because of the 99%, much of it is missing. So what is left is about 78%. But wait, wait, nonetheless, wait, 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 the wait. only the last and the first of the surahs is missing. But what are the dates you give the top copy? Okay, let's talk about the top copy. So earlier on, until just two weeks ago, you used to talk about 78% complete. I'm glad of the 99%. Yes. I'm glad that you know of 78%. Yes, but see, you didn't want to talk about the 78%. Excuse me, I haven't finished. Yet. You didn't want to talk and notice the folks that even within that 78%. Tell me when you're finished, and I'll speak. We have. Good. It is finished. Right. But now give me the date for the top okay. copy. I'm not moving on yet. Let's talk about it. Shall so we go for five minutes? On. Five minutes. So not five minutes. Five minutes. I don't play this game anymore. So what we, excuse me. So what we said is this: just two weeks ago, in fact. Those people, please, here's my request. Whoever's watching it, oh, it's not live stream, is it? Download the last week's video. Because even last week or two weeks ago, you said you corrected her and she agreed with you like a sheep. That it was 78%. It is 78% that exists today. I'm sorry. It is 78% that exists today. Get it right. Don't say 99%. But what are the dates for the top copy? What are the dates for the top copy? What are the dates for the top copy? 99% complete meaning what? What does it mean 99%? 99% of the Quran, of the verses, but not the entire verses, right. of the surahs are there. But within those surahs, a good a good bit of it is missing. How so much? that only 78% is still existing today. How much missing? Because I have done research adequately enough to go through every single page, every single lacuna, or every single missing folio. So you come up with a 78%. How many folios effectively do you have to have missing to get from 99% to 78%? Yes. Within the folios, I assume the scholars know what they're talking about. I've not done it myself. Which they scholar, are saying, what? which scholar, don't say they anymore with me, Jay. Which scholar on planet Earth, I'm being very generous. Which scholar on planet Earth says, that 78% of the text is I'm suing legible. him the entire of the college. No, he doesn't. He so doesn't where do you get from? No, he doesn't. Is it a then? No, he doesn't. Where do you get this from? We don't know the, we don't know oh, the source for that. Rumor. <laughs> Christian rumor. Right? Okay, what are the dates for top copy? No, no, we're not talking about dates yet. What are the dates Wait, for top copy? We haven't copy? finished about the contents. Don't talk about dates. So 78% comes from the... There are the dates the... he's having problems with Wait, again. Wait, Listen, and you will learn. Months so get the dates, quickly. 78% of the text comes from where? You have no idea, you just made it up. I didn't make it up. We're quoting it. I don't know the top of it. I don't know the scholar off the top of my head. Do you know but how... let's go back wait, to wait, the wait, dates wait, on this. Wait, slowly. Do you know you've been talking about this for a long time in so many debates? With Shabir Ali, with here, and various other places? It's online. So you can't just delete and go back and remove your traces because the timestamp is there when you said this. Monsoon, what's wait. your point? Get to the point. Where is did it you complete? get... I want to ask you this question, serious just, question. Listen, Mansur, I can't give it to you right today. I will have it by next week. No, Wait really? for next week. Okay, next, next, next week. Good, week. good. Why do you talk now, about things you don't know? Fully? Okay. It's going to be on YouTube. Do, uh, uh, next week. Okay, do a simple maths. To get from 99% to 78%, out of 408 folios, how many folios should we see missing? I'll give you a few minutes. I have no idea. Go ahead, tell me. Bring your calculator. Bring your calculator. Go on. Ask your Christian friends who might be having a PhD in, 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 in mathematics. Right? I would say 22% is missing of it. Uh, no, no. Based on what? You know, we want to know what the dates are you're giving to this. Mansur, can you give us the dates on this? Let's yes, get whipped today. Wait, you wait, and your wait. crowd, man. <laughs> right. Let me tell you. And you can check it out, the stats. Here's a read PhD for you. So the top copy manuscript you want to talk about. You're in trouble. Mansoor, Allah bless you, my brother. You're going to go to the military again. Are you sweating? Are you sweating? Do you need napkin? I've already got mine, don't worry. We're still waiting for the dates on this. No, no. Let's not talk about the dates as yet. Let's talk about the context. Not as yet, because you want to just... Jump and run away! Yeah, no, no running away today! No running away! Right! Today's push up day. To get from... Unit to lose, do you know how many folios you have to lose? 89 folios! Out of 408! 89 folios! Are you seriously telling me? Scholars on planet Earth 
who have access to the facsimile edition. I have one too today. Jay is with me today. You are saying this text is not readable by 22%? Where did you get this from? It's a myth will be destroyed today. So let me show you the facsimile edition of Top Copy. No running away today. Okay. Is your heart ready? Shall we're we're just, I'm just going to try. I'm going to repeat what time. Uh, uh, I'll call it. I'll call it. Mansur, be careful. The Top Copy Musa. Here, here, this one. This one. This is the top copy must have that Dr. Tayyar Alti Kulach is talking about, right? It's their facsimile, my friend. And what are the yes. dates for that? No, not talking about dates. Uh, we are talking about. He doesn't 70. want to talk about no, the no. dates. I never are said. I never said that we going to talk about 78. Yes, yes. We are interested in your yes. mythological yes. 78%. Yes. Because yes. from now on, you need to learn yes. that this is no longer That's acceptable in Speaker's Corner or let alone in the whole world. Yes. So now, what does Dr. Tayyar Alti Kulach say about reading? Legibility of the text or not? And from now on, how many I... pages and how many folios that you cannot read? Because I've gone through. Look, I'm no special. There are scholars who've done that. I've gone through every single page meticulously just to refute you on this point. And that's the day today, Allahu Akbar. Allah so now tell me, how many pages are not legible? How many pages have lacuna? How many verses effectively? How many words? Can I quote him right here? Go ahead. The top copy Musaf, compared to other Musaf, which are missing many folios, could be considered as a complete copy. As it should be noted, copy. let me finish. It should be noted that the last maintenance and repairs of this Musaf were made 18 years ago. Most of its folios are difficult to read or illegible due to climatic or similar factors. In the past, due to humidity, the ink from some pages have transferred onto the facing pages, spoiling the writings. Also, some holes had appeared in the pages. And? That's why he is saying and? that so much of it cannot be read. No. This part you cannot so, read today. So basically, you need to understand what he says. Because within the facsimile, yeah. I can read, so can he. And he's transcribed what he can read. If there's something not readable, look, every single page, I'm going to do 10 experiments maybe, 10 pages. Random. Oh, nothing. All readable. Right there, right there. Can you read all that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to read it to you? Go ahead, read it. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Jay, you're the biggest guy I've come across. He's, yeah. he's looking well, down on the Arabic. The he's looking at the Arabic down right. there. Then I read it. Started reading. But, but I saw, I saw your eyes going I down. Did. I did. And then I can read it. Ah, <laughs> uh, seriously. Um, yeah, seriously. You're Try an Arab. You're, 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 you're native Arab speaker. speaker. Yes. Can you read yes. that? Yes. He cannot read. He's not Arabic. Let him see if he can read that. Remember, don't touch it. The other day when I debated about what, even his hawk. Did he give you a book? And now you're touching. Yeah. No, my friend. <laughs> no, today. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Today's Let him read it. He's a nightmare wait, wait, speaker. Wait, 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 wait. So, can you read it? Can you, can you go? Go? The page that we had. Okay. Okay. Don't change the page. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get a very bad page. I'm going to help you, sir. I'm going to help, no, no, no. help you by getting a very bad page. You have one already. Just go to that page wait, again. I'm trying to. How about this one? Don't touch it. Wait, I know which one. This one. Can you read that? Hang on. What? Hang on. Put it in picture. Look, the scholars have read it and transcribed. Yeah, give me a second. Go ahead. Let the whole world see. The whole world. Yeah. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, man. Hey, but I have to come up me now. Uh, yeah, yeah. If if I go to this section, most of it is not readable. Wait, 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 well, wait. Well, what they have done this is one, they take the existing one, the Quran you, you, and interpose it there. Listen. It helps if you knew the Quran by heart, then you can follow it. Therefore, you interpose what you already know. Wait, wait. You interpose what you already know. That's what he has done. You asked what to read read this. You and he couldn't read it. What now, are you talking about? He cannot read it. It's not legible. He couldn't read it. He couldn't read it. Now, of course, Dr. Tayyar Alti Kulaj, he's read it. He's read it. Which one is has he not read? Which one has he not read? Now, of course, Dr. Tayyar Alti Kulaj, he's read it. Which one has he not read? The ones that are missing. Dots. Can you see that? One dot, the few dots there. You can work out. The number of dots in the places that's missing or illegible, yeah, look at that. I'm going to just do it randomly. <laughs> All readable. Is that legible? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Definitely. We can sit down and I can show you. But, 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 but with a lack, with a lack, with a lack of di dialectical marks, you can oh, assume. You for example, for example, the word Kabir 
can be read as, as kathir because if you which, which means the, the difference the difference between big and much in arabic it is drawn the same way if you actually just have a you have to assume that it's kabir or kathir if it's not readable okay. within the context yeah. If this was a Quranic Musha, of course, the reading of the whole Muslim world is familiar with saying was Kathir. Why would you read something different? Yes. Because the reading is there. Because, because, because they are familiar because they are familiar with it because of an earlier look, error. Look, you go through If it has pages, if there has been an error, they would be familiar with it. Just look at it. You can yeah. see that they do not they're not legible many. There are. Page by page, look, this scholar has read. It doesn't show that, sir. No, look, look, look. We found. Okay, what can we get to the dates now? Wait, wait. Can you give me the wait. dates for the top no. copy? Wait, that's the no count. Wait for that. Here we go. Here can you give me the dates for the top copy? Yeah. Your comprehension problem of what Dr. Fayyar al said, I have not finished. Move on. You think. Just because Dr. Tayyar al says it's difficult to read, it doesn't mean it's impossible to read. Exactly. There's a difference between difficulty in reading and impossibility in reading. Yeah, like it was hard, they but I have, read it. They have no, read it. Like so that. can you if you know Arabic. So can he yeah. flow. I can't hear nothing, sorry. Can he read it? Oh, yes, so he can. Can. Good. Can he read that part of it? No, he can't. Of course he can. So he interposes okay, no. wait, wait, wait. what is already wait, wait, wait. known. No. That isn't he, understood. He tracks, for example, Birmingham Manuscript. Does it have diacritics? So, the silence, is, silence is confirmation. Have a look. <laughs> Are you going to give us a date on this? No, no, yeah. we're jumping. Bro. Give us the date. Don't jump. We haven't finished yet about we this finish. and the we volumes. Why? Why is the rush today? Why is the running the today? Why is the running today? Right. No, it doesn't have diacritics. What is a diacritic? It's the dot above and below the line to, to show the differences in the different letters. You can have five different letters that just a spoof. Let me show you what it does. Can I borrow it? We can't borrow yours, why should you borrow this? I no, made so a come point on, get with the dates. Let's hurry up. Right, hang on. Can we get to hang the dates now? So why I want to get Tony afraid? up here. To wait a second, second, wait a second. So there are diacritics. How about oh, no, there are not diacritics in that. I am telling you, if you have read the transcription of Dr. Fedeli, have you seen it? Of course you haven't. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I'm looking my at it right here. There are no right diacritics. Here. The point is this. The Birmingham manuscripts has the diacritics to differentiate between Ta and Ya, for example. Okay, so they have the diacritics between Ta and Ya. Yeah, yes. so now you've learned. Good. I'm, I'm well, very glad that you're learning every day. In fact, you're learning a lot today. <laughs> now, these Birmingham manuscripts, mainly the diacritics are not there, right? Did Dr. Fedeli, was Dr. Fedeli able to transcribe in Arabic letters of those volumes. Yes, she was. Right. So they were able to read. Yes, they were. So diacritics doesn't matter then. Your argument is a moot argument. No, it's the reason why. It doesn't why. matter. No, 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 no. Why? She you was able read. to do so because she had the Quran. There is a, there so? is a reference. She was able to so do so there is a reference. She what, the they, what they were paralleling. Whatever. That's why she was Why did they have so? to create them if it wasn't a problem? Not, your argument is buried. No. If it's a Why did they have to create it if it weren't a problem? You will find Quran in there. So why should we get to the dates now? Get to the dates. What is it? for the top wait, copy. Wait, wait, wait. That's my final 30 seconds on this. So now you realize your 78% myth yes. is your own invention. It's been busted. But you said, I'm going to check it up next week. Please do. Check up and find out where they say it's not legible because scholars, including students of paleography, they can read it like they have done here. Yes. Now, so we have almost 99% of the Quran complete. In fact, 99% is almost so what complete, is it, right? Is it yeah. Right. How? Is it what date? Date? That's the Bible, sir. When does Dr. Tayyar al Tikulaj date it? He dates it to the early 8th century. Early 8th? So how many years after the Prophet? About so 60 years, 70 to 60 to 70 years. 60 to 70 years. <laughs> now, so you have a complete Quran. Yes. Hold on a minute. Almost complete. I'm sorry, years, sorry, sir. sorry. 749. He dates it to the mid 8th century. Where does he date it? Mid 8th century. Where? Look at the dates he has on there. Where? So, where? where does he say that? Find it. This is Early to mid 8th century. Now, where does he say 749? I want to know. Page 81. Look on page 81. Okay, page 81. I'm so glad you had a page number. Yeah. Page 81. Your mythological reading will all be over. Page 81. Page 81. Yeah. yeah. So now tell me in page 81. Where, look, I even have a tag to page 81. 
Uh, see? No, 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 because he's going to show me where... Early says, to mid 8th century. No, no, 749. 749. Where does 749. To mid 8th century, that's no, no, 749. No, wait, wait, wait. You make up dates as you go along, yes. right? 78 figure, 749. 749. Yes, exactly. If it's there, of course we will accept it. What's mid 8th century? No. Actually, it's 750, 750, isn't it? No. I'm off by one year. No, no, Excuse you me. made that date up, didn't you? You just made this date up in your head. In a minute, it's going to be 751. Uh, 749 no, is when the Almas okay. take over. No, did you uh, just yeah. make sense? That yes, you just that made, he lied. Okay. So did Dr. Tayyar Altikulaj use the date 749? No, he said mid 8th century. So he didn't say so 749. So when is mid 8th century? No, so he didn't. That's actually so, 750. So 750. So now, it's even later. I'm so glad. But that's not important. Okay. It's 8th century, is so it not? I'm so glad that you're not correcting yourself today. Thank you. You know, a very good student. Yeah, so yeah. you're saying you just <laughs> made up the date. Go ahead. You should right. lie as a Christian. Right. You should lie. Right. 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 Today is the biggest day for him today. Right. He's the biggest liar. He's the biggest liar. So now, how different? The crucial question is this. Having a Quran, 99% complete is almost complete. Oh, no, wait, don't say 99% complete. It's 98. We have already said, and you have out agreed, that there are parts you cannot read. No, I can read. The, the only part that's no, no, underneath is nothing I can. more no, than transliteration. No, no. These are you inches and by the, but what we you already know in the Quran. Look, the scholars, Dr. Tayyar al could read it. Yeah. That's because important. Yeah. So according to Dr. Tayyar al Tayyar al he could read. Also he could read. No, he doesn't admit. He yeah, also makes sense that there are 2,270 berries. Okay, that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. We're going to talk about, but I want the dates. Wait. Look at those dates. Now, why are we bringing you up the dates? You lied about the dates. Wait. Why are we looking oh, at the wait. dates? Even if we went to the earliest part of those dates, the Dave. early 8th century, which I'm willing to go to. I'm willing to go to how the early 8th century. The, how different? How many years is, after Uthman is this? Yeah, how many years? 50 to 60 years. Right. So we have so a Quran. Once, why is that important? 99, Why is it we don't have, we have a Quran, Quran from the time of Uthman? Right. Okay, look. We have a Quran just to understand and to compare, right? Yes. It's very important to compare. Yeah. We have a Quran within 50 to 60 years. Yes. Yeah? Do you have a complete manuscript of the New Testament within 50 to 60 years? They don't have an original. Results, very simple. Why? They were not written on vellum. They were not written on parchment. Why did God they were written on papyrus. Why but did all of these it? are written on vellum. Muslims have the power to do that. What power? Muslims have the power to preserve. To write do it on papyrus history? in the 7th wait, century. Wait, wait Especially, here we go. Especially... Then wake up. <laughs> Especially if you have, but in this case, if you control the area that you now dominate, which they did by 642. They controlled not only Damascus, they controlled Basra, they controlled Baghdad, you said they Damascus. controlled Medina, Boring. they controlled these cities. They controlled by the time that Abdul Malik comes to power, all of North Africa, all the way from so India in the east, all the way to Spain in the west. So certainly they should have by the time of Uthman, so good they didn't, should have by the time of Uthman up. in 650 okay. been able to so, write the complete Quran so I'm glad. in a place that I'm we happy. can still see it today. That Jay Smith, I'm so glad and happy yeah. that Jay Smith is admitting yeah. he cannot compare apples and bananas thank and you, oranges. You, Why? Yes. The manuscript tradition of the Quran yes. is like day. And the biblical manuscript tradition is like night. Thank you. That's how it is. It's dark. Let's move on. Contents. How you different like or not? That's is the, the top copy manuscript yes. than the Quran that we read and recite? Today. Yes. Did you hear that, Jay? How Should different I... it is? It? Yes. I'm saying again, there are 2,200 variants. No, no, no. In it. How different? Why is there even one variant? How many? How different is Why it? Why is there even one variant? How different? If this is from God Answer and the it's question. complete. And okay. why is it that this is not from the time of Uthman? Answer you, the question. Why is it for 50 years they cannot come up with a complete Quran? Answer the question. Why is it if they control all this land, they cannot come up with not just one? Where are those four manuscripts? Remember what we started out with this afternoon. I'm going to answer your question. What did we start out with this no, afternoon? Don't rewind. Let's according to Uthman. With your lies. Let's according let's to with Uthman. So now, you Let me finish, my son. According to Uthman, Four copies were made, sent to four cities. No, no. Where are those copies? Try again. Try again. Four Try copies again. were made and sent to every province. Why did Usman say four copies? Give me the, give me the thing. Give him anything he needs. He's gonna lie anyway. On Al Buhari, Al Buhari. 
Give them the Given to send to every province. You said four. I want to know yeah. where Actually, there are where 11 did you provinces four, four? that we've no, been able to You said count. it was one centered to four. Yes, where? So where is this four? Where is this? God willing, today all of these numbers yeah. will all be dismantled. So where is it for? Order that that all the other Quranic materials, whether written in fragmentary manuscripts or whole copies, be burnt. <laughs> a verse from Sir, so we searched it, and then one copy of what had been copied. Uthman then sent to every Muslim province one copy of what they had copied. So where to every Muslim province. How many provinces were there existent at that time? Four. More, than, more than four. So you I made mean, up the number four. So you? actually we have more than four Did now. You make up this number so four where again? are these? Where did you get four from? Did you make this number four up again? Where did Probably you get four from? Four. I can't, I, we got it somewhere. I can't remember. No, where my did head. you get four from? But that means even more than four, right? No, where did you get four from? Right. He, 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 he lied about 749. Now he's lying about four. That is his Let's read off this. <laughs> so now, small. we can see... Okay, how many do you count there? How many provinces again. do you count there? He, he makes up numbers. Nine. There's four. There okay, nine provinces Five. that we oh, now have been able to count. Four, isn't it? So these are even more manuscripts. The problem is more. Where are these nine copies? Where are these original Uthmanic copies? Go ahead. So now, as you realize again... Time and time again, he makes up numbers. And when you ask him, I was giving up, you only four. No, you said Usman, actually it's now nine. Usman. That makes it worse for no. you. You said with man said four, and you read with yes. man didn't say four. Exactly. So you're many proven provinces. to be lying again, on Usman. Jay, yeah, come on, right? And that's precisely my point today. My aim today is to expose your lies one after Monsieur, the other. you're missing the question. Right. 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 Get to the question. Where, Where are, are those nine minutes? manuscripts? The question. Um, the Where question, are those nine manuscripts? Sir, the question that I, I asked you instead of you asking me is this. Listen, why do you keep chilling? Does top copy manuscript? In fact, I said. You're stalling. You're stalling. We want an answer. Do you want an answer, folks? Yes. Good. So need some but we don't want you to lie. Okay. The question that I put on the floor is this to him and to everyone. Okay, we are listening. How much? Does the top copy manuscript content yes. vary or is different from the Quran that we read and recite today? 2,270 variants. Okay. Are all these substantial? Okay. No, they're not. Let me tell you. The fact that there's one variant Jay, is a problem to me. Jay, Jay, I want to if this is truly God's holy writ, Let me if this my... is really a, a, a manuscript um, that has always existed Jay, eternally, if it was sent down to Muhammad verbatim to the angel Gabriel, if it was written at the time of Uthman in 650 and then sent nine copies i said four before actually i was giving you guys an awful lot of leeway no, 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 now it's lying. nine copies nine copies even more than four where are those nine copies so as i started we've been answer, asking this now for 20 years Listen, Jay, and you learn today because you're 20 years too late to learn anyway so i said i asked the question and he's given the answer so let's recap how much does the top copy vary from the Quran that we read today or recite today? Yes. Excuse me, listen, listen. Madam, Perhaps you can learn something. Perhaps you can learn something. Learn. Right. You know to speak. Your see. friend Jay said. Get to the answer. Jay said. Hurry up with the answer. Hang on. Where are there these no nine copies today. complete and unchanged from the time of Uthman? Right, Jay. Jay. Complete so, and unchanged from the time of Uthman. Listen, listen. So the Let's answer, see if he can answer that. So the answer Jay gave to my question is there are over 2,200 or 100. 117 variants, there should be one variant. Right. So he thinks, brothers, so he thinks because of these variants, which he has no idea about, we will establish what they are, God willing, in a moment, that it is different. Now, here is what I'm declaring here. If I read. Monsieur, Monsieur, uh, listen, this. I've got Tony here, he's all the way from Canada. Can you hurry up with the no, answer? I can't. No, 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 Listen, but this is why we don't give you the ladder. No, because you're this not. Is why, this is why we this don't give you the ladder. You don't hurry up and give us the answer. Listen. I want to get Tony on the ladder quickly. <laughs> I'm here. So you're going to get five minutes now. No, We're listen, giving you five minutes. The then, Tony, you're getting on the ladder. Give us the answer. Where are these nine men? Okay. Within my five minutes, maybe I should summarize them. Thank you very much. Go ahead. So, do not interrupt. <laughs> we had a debate recently okay, with him. I was there, I was on the ladder. We talked about the manuscripts or the historicity of the biographical tradition of the Prophet. Yeah? At the end, because I made my point, I left.
he kept on bragging on his fund the films website all Muslims running away we're gonna now next week or you know immediately following talk about the Quranic manuscripts he's gonna come prepared yeah. right yeah. of course he's prepared look on all these laminated copies yeah. so I thought that's very good yeah. it makes easier the job when you're prepared and when I'm prepared yes. so I came carrying a heavy manuscript of a facsimile of it and he thinks this is different here is what is this of Monic? The question is, the is this from Uthman? That's not the question. The question that is we are addressing. This from the that's country. not the question. That's, that's, not that's, that's, that's the question. That is the question. That's the question. Can you see even this manuscript that he wants to claim? is the same as the Quran we have today. USA. Yet we do He's know the there are the 2,270. Can you see? He's still not answering yeah. that question. So I want Tony to come hey, up here now. I want you to come on up, Tony. Okay, did you see? Did you see? I did not finish my five minutes. Yes, I know. And how he rudely took yeah. over. Because Tony's yeah. here from You know what? I don't care, Tony, because he can wait five minutes. I'm from Turkey for what? You said you agreed to five minutes. I came from Turkey. Five minutes, Tony. Right. Long doesn't matter. Five minutes. You've got another three minutes left. No, you interrupted my two minutes. No, no, no hold on. You've been interrupting me the whole time. Right. We've been you interrupting each right. other. Yeah. Yeah. Three minutes. You, you agreed to interrupt. So now, out of these 2,000 differences, do you know what Dr. Toyer al says? Yes. Do you know what he says? What these differences are? No, what is Some of them are Dagaranis. Oh, you know what really? Dagaranis. Does it make a difference when you read the Quran and the read the top copy when you have a dagger on if missing or absent? Yes, it makes it. It makes a difference. Qatala is different from Qatala. Qatala is fought. Qatala is killed. There's a big difference. When we have a native Arab speaker, listen, Arab speaker. When you have the Quran in context, he's Syrian, not Arab. In context, doesn't matter. We can read. Listen. The question is, can we read the top copy like we read our Quran today, with or without the dagger on it? The answer is 100 percent yes. No, that's not right. That's he not just right. Gave you an example that's here not right. That's an example. For, exa for wait, example, wait, 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 for example, and must have. Let me finish. And Abel Let me finish. And, and must let have house. Finish. Wait. Let me finish. When I have right, this Quran right. here, right. yep. Qala, or Qala, for example. I'm still able some, to In some words, wait, it wait, wouldn't wait, make wait. a difference, but in no. many other words, it would make a difference. I'm making this point is, an Asim, Hafiz an Asim, it says, Iqtulu, I want to, Qatilu, and, and the listen. one in Morocco says, Iqtulu. Here's what I want to tell you. It doesn't you the same word. Word. It does. No, no, I read it. I read it. In Warsh, it exists. One second. Brother, brother, excuse me. Guys, one second. We can read our Quran, or we can read this Quran, exactly as the Quran we recite today. It's not my words is what Dr. Tayyar al said himself. Yes. And when you check every single page, which we should meet and sit down in the park and go through, yes. my friend, if, if you, you are so button. sincere and interested, yes. and we will demonstrate to you, God willing, we can read this Quran exactly in the Qira'ah of the Quran that we read today. Yes. That is why Dr. al makes the point that is preserved. 1300 years, the Quran from Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 1300 years is correct. He's finally admitted. 1300 years. We have been admitted admit every day. We have been always been telling you in Islamic awareness and yeah. everywhere, it is not an Iqbalic copy. We told you that. And now you're telling yes. me I don't know. And we accept that. 1300 <laughs> years. Yes, yes, Thanks yes, a lot, Monsoon. Thank God him. bless you. Yeah, you you're going to have to finish. 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 You're going to you like this debate we had today, don't you? Very much so. No, you debate, no, you debate you're free to attack Islam. We're going to we'll live in you your free to attack Islam. How many times have but you debated? But you cannot preach your Bible. How many times have you debated? You cannot preach your Bible because do you talk no about the Quran? Yes, I do. Were you watching this debate today? Yes, sir. Yeah, he was. What was yeah. your impression as you watched the debate? Well, it was we, happy. Never we never got any dates. So oh, is it no important answer. that we didn't get debates? Well, I think that the dating is very, very critical here. We don't care. Okay, the dating shows that what we find in these manuscripts is that they're pre-Islamic. So that poses some serious historical problems. Why does that prove? Or why is that serious? And why are these problems? Because it goes against the standard date of 650. If these manuscripts or folios are prior to Muhammad, then that supports the Something argument. It supports the argument. Even the Quran mentions in Surah 25, verses 1 to 4, I believe, 
that the unbelievers were saying to Muhammad, this is nothing new that you're telling us. Okay. We've heard this before. These are just tales of the ancients, okay. which seems to support the contention that these stories we read about in the Quran are actually borrowed. The story of Cain and Abel and Jesus speaking as a child, making birds out of clay and so forth. Now these are well known, are they not? Absolutely well known. And they're well known within Jewish tradition, are Correct. they not? And Christian as well. Do you think that these stories came from the Quran? They did not come from the Quran. Because they are from this part of the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th century. They're pre-Islamic, absolutely. Are that, is that before the Quran, those days? Definitely before the Quran. Now, Mansoor made a very good point. He did say, hold on a minute. Nonetheless, these manuscripts that we do have, we don't have any of the originals of any right, of them. Right, right. Why is it we don't have the originals of the ben uh, Jonathan Ben Uzziah, or the San uh, Bar Sanhedrin, or the... Uh, second Targum of Esther. These are the uh, Jewish apocryphal writings. Well, we don't. We don't. You mean the originals? You referring to the originals? Yeah, why don't we have? We the don't have them. They've been. They've gone missing. They've been retained in Jewish tradition, in the Mishnah, in the Talmud. But even the Jews recognize that these stories are not canonical. They're not part of the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible. No, but the question I'm asking is, how do we know that they were written in the second, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth century? Well, because they pre-existed, and they were current, and they were circulating among Jews and so Christians. So they were circulating. Absolutely. There's not just one manuscript we're no, talking about. There's, there's a, a whole of pantheon of Correct. traditions. Correct. These are well known, then. Yes. They're referred to in other documents. Correct. They're referred to in other writings. Yes. No one doubts the dates for Jonathan ben Uzziah. No. No one doubts the dates for the second Talmud of Ezra. No. No one doubts the dates for the Mishnah Rabbah. No. Second century, the Bar Sanhedrin, fifth century. Correct. What about the sectarian writings, the Christian sectarian writings? They are definitely pre-Islamic, and they are folklore stories that were very well known to the Christians of uh, Syria, Syria, the Arabian region, and so forth. And who was writing these stories? Uh, presumably, these were uh, sectarian groups. What groups? kind? Of, give me some names. Well, we have groups like uh, the Abunites, uh, we have uh, Monophysites, and other groups. The Gnostics? The Gnostics as well. The okay. And the Gnostics did not believe that Jesus was a human being. So they denied he was a human. They believed that the creator of the world was a, a demiurge, a fallen god, an evil god. And so these were definitely not Christians. Okay, what about the Monophysites? The Monophysites believed that Jesus only had one nature. Okay, now stop and think. Is there another religion that believes the same thing? Islam. Oh, only human. He's only isn't human. that interesting? And is it not many of these documents that you find in the Quran? That's correct. That he is only a human. He only does human. not eat in Surah 5, Ayah 75. Right. That that doesn't surprise you, does it? No, it doesn't. Because these are also in writings that pre-exist the Quran. Correct. If they pre-exist the Quran, they come before the Quran, right? Obviously. Logically. Therefore, they should have been written down. Right. So are these also written down in Arabic? Yes, they were. Like the infancy Gospel of Thomas was very well known in Arabia. In fact, the Arabic Gospels, the lost Gospels of the Arabic Gospels Correct. are Arabic writing. Right. So they would have been written prior to the Quran as well. Yes. Yes. Would you suggest then that these folios that we're now dating from 443 to 599, that's the 5th and 6th century, that's a whole century before Muhammad, yes. that these may be some of these writings? Yes, because in surahs 18, 19, and 20 contained in the folios, they contain the story and that's, that's of the, the Birmingham one. Yeah. That's yeah. 18, 19, 20 is right. the Birmingham one. That right. would be later. That would have a median date of 606. Right. But certainly, the ones that they are dating in Leo, in yes. Arizona, right. which Munsu doesn't like those dates, right. because he says they don't agree, therefore we can throw them out. Right. Why is it that folios and manuscripts have different dates? Why would you think? That they have different dates? Yes. They may be based on the parchment or the skins upon which they were written. Okay, it takes wait, based on when those skins were were created, right. when the animal when the died. Animal slaughtered. The fact that they're all early suggests that these are earlier writings. Correct. Where would the people who wrote the Quran get these stories from, if not those earlier writings? Yeah, Pre-existing stories, because the stories in those surahs come from those other stories we've been discussing. Okay, now, let's talk about the Tokka. You heard about the Tokka. Yeah. He wanted to find out if I had the right, the right dates. Right. I said coffee? early to mid 8th century. Right. Give me the dates for early to mid 8th century. What does that mean to you? What is well, eight, coffee? Eight, mid 8th century, the medium date would be 750. It's a manuscript. Well, yeah, the, one of the manuscripts. Mid 8th century is 750. Right, right. So early to mid would be what? Early to mid, I would put at maybe 699 to 750. 699 is actually 7th century. Right. That's not early. It's early 8th century. Right. So I'm going to right. I'm going to caution you on okay. that. Okay. Early 
8th century would right. be 710 to 750. Right. Okay? At the most, 700, but not 699. Right. Just a being point. super conservative. You're being super conservative. <laughs> now, who was ruling in early 7th century? In early 7th century. Who ruled many, from 685 to 705? In terms of Christian uh, and the world? Muslim. In that time period, that would be Abdul Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Malik. Have you heard that name before? Yes. Why is Abdul Malik so important? Because Abdul Malik does something that is actually catastrophic. Well, not maybe that's too big a yeah. word. Not catastrophic, right? But certainly significant for Islam. Yes. He builds a building in Rock. Jerusalem, yeah. the Dome of the Rock, right. in 691. That's right. What does he put on the Dome of the Rock on the inner ambulatory? in the uh there which is the inner part the only part that's original yep. today that's the only original yep. part of that building he has an inscription there that refers to jesus being uh the son of mary uh and referring to him being just a human being nothing else the monophysite the monophysite here it looks like a monophysite writing doesn't that's it right it looks like this is borrowed again right the earliest inscriptions we have on the dome of the rock of earliest muslim inscription right. remember the word Muslim didn't exist before no. Abdul Malik, did it? No. The word Islam is not found in any documentation before Abdul Malik, right? That's correct. He is the one that introduces that name. Right. He is the one that introduces the word Muslim. He is also the one that right, that builds the Dome of the Rock. Right. And those inscriptions on the Dome of the Rock are against Jesus Christ, are they not? That's right. And what is it that they don't like about Jesus Christ? Zero four one seventy one. 171 Yeah, they don't like his, the fact that Jesus was crucified. They don't like the fact that he was deity, that he was the divine son of God. Actually, crucifixion is not on the Dome of the It's rock. not on the Dome we of the Rock. We heard that today. Which is very interesting. Yeah, that's interesting that that's not there. Yes. But what is on the Dome of the Rock? Say not three. That's right. For God is one. one. And he has no, no partners. partners. In fact, the first Shahada yes. that we see anywhere very different. is on the Dome of the Rock. That's right. Why is it different from the Shahada we use today? It's very different because there's no mention of Muhammad being Rasulullah. And what else about God? This says that he is one and that there's no partners. To he be has no partners. Who is that attacking? That's attacking the Christians, the Orthodox Christians. So it looks like, if you look at the Dome of the Rock, Abdul Malik is introducing something new here. Right. He's introducing a new prophet. Correct. He was in contradistinction to the Christian prophet. Right. The Christian God. That's right. That is one yet three. Right. The triune God. Right. It's an attack against the Trinity. That's correct. Not? That's correct. And it's an attack against also that God would have a partner. Correct. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. So you see a new sectarian movement being introduced with Abdul Malik. Right. Now when you introduce and build a big building like the Dome of the Rock, the largest building of its kind, right. bigger than the Se uh, Sepulchre. Yeah, the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Holy Sepulchre, much bigger. Yes. It's basically saying, we're bigger than you. Right. We now control. Right. Abdul Malik was the Caliph. Right. He was up in Damascus. Why did he build this building in Damascus? He built the building in Damascus. No, why didn't he build it in Damascus? Well, I think Jerusalem is the holy city, and Jerusalem was the place Absolutely. where Jesus was believed to have died. If you're going to take over and become now the the, the new right. sectarian group, the new group, the right. new Arab group, right. it's going to have an Arab prophet right. in Arabic. Right. So that's why the prophet is introduced on the Dome of the Rock. Right. Look at the date, 691. Right. Once you have a prophet, what does a prophet have to have? A prophet has to have what? He has to have scripture, he has to have power. A revelation. Right. He needs a revelation. Right. So therefore, you're going to have to start borrowing, are you not? Absolutely. You're going to have to start borrowing. And where are you going to borrow from? The only place is the Bible. And our Jewish folk Why did they borrow from the Bible? Because they had nothing. They didn't have the Bible. Right. Because when was the Bible translated into Arabic? In the late 8th century. Right. We're talking about the late 7th century, are right. we not? Right. 691. Right. There was no Bible in Arabic. No. So what do you go to if you don't have the Bible in Arabic? Well, you go to Jewish sources and Christian sources like the Talmud. The you go to the Torah. Yeah, you go to the Talmud. We've the come full circle, folks. But let, let Did you notice what we started out with today? We've come full circle, yeah, have we not, Tony? Absolutely. Yeah. What we're showing, folks, is here Abdul Malik wanted to create an Arab identity. Remember, they have been in power since 642. Right. So you're talking about around 40 to 50 years right. the Arabs have been in power. But they were always 
dependent on Jews and Christians for the prophetic line. Yes, yes. Jews and Christians for all yes. the scriptures. And the they both go back to Abraham. The Dome of the Rock was based on, again, Christian architecture. Christian architecture. To say, this is bigger than yours. Right. We've got the bigger, the best. Right. And we've got the final prophet. Right. But once you create that identity, which Abdul Malik wanted to do. He took off all the images right. and replaced them with Arabic scripts. Right. What's that say? Arabic now is going to be the international language. The dominant language. Yeah. It's going to be the dominant language. Right. That means they're going to have to introduce a dominant prophet. Right. It's going to be an Arab prophet right. with an Arab Quran. Right. But where is that Quran? That's what we're asking. <laughs> it starts to be introduced by yes. Abdul Malik. Yes. Now, what did Mansur fail to do today? Did he date the top copy? No, we're, we're still waiting for the dates. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't date it. Where did he date it? Early 8th century. There you go. <laughs> Stop and think. Yes. Is that in the time of Abdul Malik? Well, Abdul Malik was 691. 69, 685 to 705. Right, right. He gives over to Al Walid right. in 705. Yes. Al Walid then starts writing all kinds of manuscripts. Right. Do you know about some other manuscripts that have now appeared? What are some other the names of manuscripts that are not the top copy? Well, How about the Samarkand? The Samarkand. Right. The Samarkand? Does it agree with the top copy? No. No, it doesn't. No. Now, why did Mansur talk about that? Obviously, he's trying to evade the issue. How the far, variants. how much of the Quran is the Samarkand? Only 43 surahs. Right. It only goes up to about half the Quran. In that 43 surahs, are there manuscript variants? Absolutely. Do they agree with the top copy? No. No, they don't. So there's a second one that doesn't agree with the top right. copy. Do we have other ones? Well, we have the... Uh, Papa Mayo right the, here. The, the British Library. Yes, the British Library. Does it agree complete with the top no, copy? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So we're finding other manuscripts that start to appear in the 8th century. Right. Now remember, this is not the 7th century. Right. This is the 8th century. So new manuscripts start to appear that don't agree with the 7th century manuscripts. Correct. What does that show you? It shows you that the text was not static, as the, the usual traditional story says, but that it has undergone evolution and development. And there's disagreements in factions and so forth. That's a sign. Now you know about Dan Brubaker's yes. research. He's yet yes. to publish his book. Yes. We did get some. We did get his book beforehand. Right. We looked at it. Right. He found within these six major manuscripts, he found 800 differences. Right. Now we know that those 800 differences, Tony, those 800 differences are spread out throughout the six manuscripts. Right. In fact, he's added another four on top of that, so that's ten manuscripts. Right. So here we have, looking at these, we have insertions, we have deletions, right. we have coverings, yep. we tapings. have tapings, yep. we have writings over top of coverings, right. we have also some that they didn't even bother to erase, they right. just wrote over top. Right. So when you look at that, what does that suggest to you? What does that suggest to you? Well, it suggests, that, once again, that there has been variation, and there has been change. And, and this what is logical. are they standardizing it to? Because they're all changing it back to what? Well, they're trying to standardize it into the Osmanic percentage. Back to the one standard so where text. is that Osmanic one? We don't have it. We don't have it. Oh, yeah, you, professor, we don't have any of it. So uh, what one are they probably bringing it back to? If you understand. I'm sorry? Which Let's one are they think they're bringing it back to? Bring it back I would suggest probably to the top copy. Yes. Probably the top copy is can the one they're going to... We're going to find out more. Can I right. But what do you can notice? Can I Why is it we cannot find any manuscript from the time of Osman that is complete? Lying, and I'm changed. Lying okay. will not bring more people. How are you doing, Adnan? We can't. We can't lying can't. will not bring more people yeah. to your face. Why is it we cannot bring any that goes back to this man? Why? No, I want to ask you why, do you think? Can I ask why? you some questions why? about Jesus? Why? Because it's, they've been destroyed. According to the according, uh, Bukhari, all of those manuscripts were destroyed. Speak louder, please. By the order of... Uh, uh, it uh, looks like they were destroyed. Now let's look at the Bible. And let's look and ask of the Bible. Can you notice the the claim has been made today that we got our material and borrowed from other sources. Yeah. And the two examples he gave yeah. were the Gilgamesh epic and he also gave the Atrahasis. Right, right. The Atrahasis from 1635 yeah. BC, yeah. the Gilgamesh from the 6th century BC. Right. Yet we notice that they're very simplistic. Very. They don't say much about anything. Right. The biblical text is much more sophisticated. Much more. It is more foundational. Well, in, the, in the Bible it also says that man is made in God's image. In yes. these other texts, they're not made in God's image. Men are made to be slaves. Yes. They are slaves to the deity. That's right. And they're, they're, and they're there to serve the gods. That's oh, yeah, what the Epic of is going why does but it's Bible interesting that God? the Islamic paradigm, the Islamic, the Islamic paradigm of master and slave, cannot be worshipped. 
Can I have a Islamic paradigm of master and slave? That's your The Islamic paradigm of master and slave is the same one as the Quran. Excuse me. Exactly the same. Tony, here we go. See, when you look at what she's saying, they had always, the scholars have always said yes. that the Old Testament cannot, nor can they not bring up any authority for Abraham. They're saying we can dismiss Abraham. We can dismiss Moses, can we? What do we now know about Abraham? They will ignore you from archaeology that a lot of the stories in Genesis, the migration accounts, are all in accordance with archaeology. Do we have tablets that actually support about the Abrahamic account? Absolutely. Do we have the Nuzi tablets? Yes. The Mari tablets? Yes. The Amarna tablets? Absolutely. Help me here. How do these help us to support what the Abraham account that we read in Genesis? They support everything about, about what we know about Abraham. They support his migration. They support the names. They support the kings that are mentioned in Genesis 14 when he went to do battle with them. Do we find, do we find the customs about Abraham in the Nuzi tablets? We do. Do they parallel? Exactly in, in the Genesis account. Yes, they do. They we do. found custom after custom yep. after custom. Right. When were those customs eradicated? Yes, you are. Uh, they were eradicated by ISIS, actually. Actually, by 1400 BC. Yeah. yeah. Yep. When Moses what wrote these down, did Moses what live in Mesopotamia? Moses questions? did not what live in Mesopotamia. Would he ever have been to Mesopotamia? No. No. Would he have ever known about these customs? No. So Moses got the right custom, so putting the question? right man in the right place what at the right time. Questions? How did he get it so what, accurate? What about because he has the documentation and he has revelation from God? Can I? Okay. Can I, I need to go with another one. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah are two cities. Huh? That no one's ever heard of before. Right. Herodotus doesn't talk about it. They have censored for the Thucydides never talks censored. about these two cities. They right. Yet the Bible is very clear they that these two cities censor. existed Absolutely. when Moses, I'm sorry, when Abraham lived. Right. When did Abraham live? About 2000 BC. 1900 BC. No, no, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, what documentation can we now use to support Solomon and Gomorrah? Plenty. Archaeology has discovered the remains of Solomon and Gomorrah. Tell me where they've discovered it. I'm not sure exactly where, but I know the Ebla tablets. The Ebla tablets have now discovered where Solomon and Gomorrah is. On the Ebla tablets, which is a tire city that had been abandoned. Right. Let's talk about GPS. On the Ebla tablets, which is a tire city that had been abandoned. Let's talk about GPS. They came upon one house. Right. Inside the house was one room. Jesus. At the floor of that one room were 17,000 tablets. Right. Answer question. When you look at those 17,000 tablets, they came across one How tablet. About and some when questions. you look at those ta that tablet, How look about, at the. Listen, well, I'm, I'm not answering some questions. We're not here to answer no, your questions. Look, you get not? your own ladder. Why not? Because we're doing. This is the only time I have Tommy. This is the only time I have him here. This is the only time I have him here. No, he will get to that. We're going to continue this first. On that one tablet. On that one tablet. It has the name of five cities. Sodom. This is the dictatorship. A Christian dictatorship in Speaker's Corner. Right. Now hold on. Christian dictatorship in Speaker's Corner. There's Sodom and Gomorrah. But the only place anywhere in the world where we've seen those two names. What are the dates for the Ebla Towers? 2300 BC. 2300 BC. These two cities are notified, are documented. Yep. When did Abraham live? By who? Documented. 2000 BC. Right. Right. Which comes first? By who? Well, which comes earlier? The Ebla yeah, tablets are earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So they are in, in 2300 BC. These two cities existed. Right. right. By the time Says Moses who? wrote these down, Says did who? they exist? Right. Yes. No, they didn't. Moses was living in 1400 BC. 1400 BC. These cities have been destroyed. At the time of Abraham. Right. That's why Herodotus right. and Thucydides knows nothing about it. Right. But hold it, gets even better. Look at those five cities. Look at the sequence. Sodom, Gomorrah, 
Adba, Zebwin, and Zohar. Right. Have you read those five cities before? Yes, I have. Where have you read it? In the Bible. Where in the Bible? Genesis. Where in Genesis? What about, what about chapter 14, 14, verse 8. That's right. In chapter 14, verse 8, you get the same five cities that are found on the Abla tablets. That's correct. Written, hold on guys, a minute, guys, in 2300 BC, that Genesis was written in 1400 BC. Right. These cities were destroyed in 1900 BC. Why right. don't you answer the question? How is it that you get the same sequence? And what's the significance of that sequence? How does he know? How does he know? Knew about he this cannot tradition even answer And that he recorded it. How can he answer Actually, this question? Actually, it gets better than that. Who are your sources? It's a trade Who route. Who are your right. sources? It's a trade route. That goes they from Sodom to Gomorrah to Adma sources? to Zebwim right. and Zoar. Right. Those five cities are on a trade route. And that trade route existed in 2300 BC. It no longer existed after 1900 Says BC. Who? And here we find it written down in yeah. 1400 BC yeah. in Genesis chapter 14. Okay. Okay. So let's take questions. What no. does so let's tell take questions on that. Let's take questions. It tells you that let's it is historically accurate let me, let me and that we can trust it in terms of ancient history. We can trust it in terms of archaeology. We can trust what the whole world says. Do you know who Tony Costa is? Yes, I do. I want to ask you some questions yes. about Jesus. We'll yes. after. Okay. okay. Let's finish with Jay. We want to we'll talk, talk after. Okay, let's okay. right here, brother. Right, so why don't you answer some questions, Tony? Okay, Tony. We're having a discussion right now. Tony, Tony listen, right here. Listen. Yeah. What does that tell you to about be the fair, Bible? And to be fair, about Genesis. You should, if you have that question, it's not about Moses. Right. How did Moses I'm wait, I'm know wait, something wait, that wait, accurate? Wait, wait, Jay. How did Moses know about these five cities? When he Jay. was living Hello. 900 if years later, right. I can wait. these cities didn't exist. I can, wait. I can right. listen to all of this. You can come next week, but no. we're just doing the dugout. Yeah. No, no, no. 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 Wait, Tony. Tony. He said he's going to ask questions. Go ahead, Tony. Tell that's me why. Are you going to ask questions? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. He said it. What does the significance of this? When it shows that what Moses received was accurate, and if he had no access to that, no physical material access, then that means that he would have received it by divine revelation from God himself. It has to be. He had no access to what it. What does that now tell you about the accuracy of the Old Testament? That we can trust it. It's reliable and trustworthy. We don't have the original manuscripts, do we? No, we don't. We would never expect to. No, we won't. But if we didn't have the original manuscripts, how is it they got this so accurate? Why is it we have the customs of Abraham so accurate? When these customs would have been out of date. Right. By the time, by 1600 BC to right. 1400 BC, they no longer existed. How, how did just... Moses know about these customs? He would not have known unless it was by divine revelation. And yet many scholars today say that this was not written by Moses Correct. in 1400 BC. Yes. It was written in the 6th century. Right. Yes. 6th century? Do you believe that. that? No, I don't. Because nobody would have known of these customs. That's right. They wouldn't have known of these cities. Right. They wouldn't have known also so of what we now know about Abraham. Where are right. the manuscripts? Did Abraham ever go to Mecca? No. So how can you say no Bible. when you don't know? In Surah 21, it says he went to Mecca. <laughs> not according to the Bible. Was there even any how Mecca you that existed no? in no. 1900 BC? No. Was there any city called Mecca that existed at the time of Moses? No. no. How, how about you Jesus? Know? How do you know? How do you know? How about Jesus? There's no mention of it, no mention of it whatsoever. He's giving black and white answers. Here we go. Giving sources. We're not going to get into Mecca today. <laughs> okay. And none already knows where we're going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, let's go to Mecca. In let's every go to Mecca. case, we and, have not found one truth. piece of historical evidence that controverts one properly understood biblical statement. That's correct. Is there any other piece of literature right? that can make that claim? No, no. absolutely not. No so problem. only the Bible right. can make that claim. Right. Continue filming. Right. Now, Tony. We've looked at the manuscript evidence today. Okay. It's pretty clear the Muslims did not want to date it. Right. They didn't want to come and show us. And they have yet to find out a complete manuscript that is unchanged from Let's the time of Muslims. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We don't want to do that because we don't even ask them anymore. Well, we you, know they can't. Let's, Let's talk, talk about these it. These folios are actually much earlier. Let's talk about it. Let's we talk about it. We know what these earlier manuscripts are. Right. These are sectarian writings. These are apocryphal environment. Right. This is Jewish so why, apocryphal why don't literature. We talk about that? Right. This is Christian sectarian writing. But why don't we talk about but that? Here we go. When you come to the Bible, what is it you love about the Bible? Uh, which, the which voice of God is heard in the Bible. It changes your life. It gives say you the good who? news. The good news say is that who? God says you're commands no, everyone to repent who, the Bible and come to a saving knowledge to know Him, to have true peace with Him. Our Muslim friends, our Muslim Look, friends talk ever. about salam. They say, well, salam alaykum to one another. But the question is, do they have salam with God? Do they have assurance of salvation that when they leave this world, they will go to Jannah? No true Muslim. Could ever say I that they will go to Ghana. 
Bible, the, Bible, the, Bible, the, Bible the only book yes. that tells you how to deal with your sin. The Bible is the only book that tells you not only how to deal with your sin, but how horrible and how devastating sin is. It also is the only book that tells you where sin comes from. That's correct. And where does sin come from? It comes from our sinful heart, our disobedience, first committed by our parents in the Garden of Eden. And if so it comes to dictatorship, and, 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 and one time we were in God's presence, were we not? That's right, we were. At one time, Adam and Eve were walking and talking in the flesh. That's right, right, they were. At one time, man and God were face to face. They were. At one time, God did come down. Right. And he entered time and space. He took on human form. He was walking in the cool of the day. That's right. He was talking and calling out, where are you? That's right. Now, Tony, how do you walk unless you have legs? Yes, we should. You can. How do you because because you have to you so at one time God took on human That's right. He came down and related to us misinformation. Misinformation. Right. So Is we there must any correct them. Other we must correct religious these book that says that. The line. None whatsoever. None. Right. And how do you so know they're lying? They're not do you want to be questions. walking and talking with God? They wouldn't like you. Do you want to go back and talk with God? Absolutely. I want everyone here to watch this. But how can you do that? Only through Jesus Christ. You can't do that today, can you? I'm sorry? You cannot do that today. Not by myself. Because Only God what? Can do what has happened? Well, you, you, can, you can do it. We have sinned, sin, and we are called by God to repent. You can turn from our sins no. and put our faith in Christ. When did that sin begin? That sin began in the garden when Adam and Eve rebelled against God. Okay, therefore, that sin in the garden of Eden, God had to throw them out of his presence. Right, and he Why did God have to throw them out of his presence? Because no sin can abide in God's presence. How was God born? Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 13. His eyes are so pure, he cannot look upon sin. God cannot look upon God sin. God nine months old God in Mary's cannot look stomach. upon sin. Was right. God Which means nine months no old one can he keep in Mary's man in stomach. his presence. No. He God had to throw up God man out of his right. presence. That's right. Which means we're all damned. We're, we're all damned. We're all lost without him. Did God grow Absolutely. in knowledge? Now I want to get back in, in God's presence. In right. physicality? Don't you want to get back Absolutely. in God's presence? Did God grow? How are you going to get back in God's presence again? Did God grow? Through Jesus. God sent his son into the world to save the world. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you're going to. Tony, 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 if you put your faith, has Tony, to be done. Tony, yes, uh, Tony, has to pay for. Can we do Are you that? having a no, we can chat? Why can't yourself. I Listen. pay for my Bring sins? Adam, because you are a sinner and you are a debtor to God. Listen, Adam and Eve did many sins, right? Right. How many sins took them out of God's presence? One. One sin. Why are you ignoring that? That's all it took is one sin, right? Right. One sin destroyed that relationship. Right. Wow. Threw them out of God's presence. Right. How many sins did Adam and Eve do? Now, this is a message They committed one and that kicked them out. And they continue can to sin, but God provided a remedy. Because yeah, and what is that remedy? That remedy is the promised Tony Messiah, Jay. Jesus Christ. Hold on a minute. It's Something totally has to be done for that. Yes, Tony, you're still jumping the button. God has to make sure that sin has to be paid. How can sin be paid? There must be bloodshed. There must be life given. But whose life? Your life? No. My life? No, the life of a perfect person. There has to be a perfect person. Exactly. Who is the only perfect person? Do not have a chaos. Why is Jesus the only perfect person? Because, because he's the son of God. He is the Lord. Lord. Only God, 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 God is perfect, right? That's right. Only God is holy here. Only God could only save. Only God is holy and pure. Right. So it had to be God who took on that sin. Exactly. It had to be God who paid that price. Right. It had to be God as man. Did he not right. say that? Yes. In Genesis 3.15. What did he say to Eve? He said Adam? that the seed, her seed, the woman's seed, would crush the seed of the, the serpent's head. Yeah. Okay. That was the per first promise of the that, that the serpent would bruise his heel. Right. So it had to come from a woman. Right. It had to come from the line of Eve. Right. Uh, are you Tell us about the woman. And who is that one that's going to come from a woman? The what Messiah, did, Jesus Christ. And who do we? And where do we get that from? We get that from the Bible, from the prophets, the prophecies throughout the Bible that predicted the coming of the Messiah. What does Isaiah say about it? Isaiah said that he would be the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, the Son of Man. The Son of Man. And Jesus was never servant. called one of these what things. What did Isaiah say? Jesus was never Isaiah, called any Daniel. of these things. Yeah. What does Isaiah say in Isaiah 7? Isaiah said that a virgin will conceive and bear a son. The whole and virgins they, don't conceive. But by God's miracle, what they can. What do the Jewish rabbis say about this? So a virgin, when a virgin what conceives, do the Jewish it starts and says, this, this will be a sign. Right. Wake up. What do the rabbis right. say about this? This is a sign. A virgin will conceive what do the Jewish and bear a son. Right. Virgins do not conceive. We know that. Right. So this is a miracle. Yes. When a virgin conceives, 
That son. I wonder what the word is. I wonder what the word is. And that means what is the word in Hebrew called virgin? Amen. And who is no Emmanuel today? today? Jesus. No one is what is his name? Jesus. Jesus. What is his name? Jesus. Jesus. What is his name? Jesus. 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 Who is the King of Kings? Jesus. Who is the Lord of Lords? Jesus. Who is God in heaven? Jesus. Who is God on earth? Jesus. Who died on the cross? Jesus. Who then rose again? Jesus. Who Jesus. Who waits for you and me? Jesus. Who wants to bring you home? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. I can't hear you. Jesus. Oh, I love that name. What is wrong with the good father? What is wrong with the good father? It's not a good father. 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 Has it's the Bible that says sin has to be rectified. Right. It's the Bible that what points to Jesus. What is wrong with a good That's father? Right. Everything Jesus in the Bible King points to Jesus. Absolutely. Everybody points to Jesus. Ask him questions. Ask him Ask him about folks, him. if you want peace, hey, come back to Jesus. Yep. Awesome. If you want salvation, hey, Jay, you can have questions? it today. Jay, you can have salvation right now. Christian. And it doesn't cost you a thing. Free. It's a free you don't gift. have to pay anything. Hey, Jay. It is totally free, it's isn't it? Free gift, the gift of grace. And it's because of Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus. All you have to do is believe that Jesus died and rose again. But he died for he all of you. He is the king of But kings. he didn't stay dead. He rose again. He rose again on the third Amen. day. Hey, Jay, oh, Jay. I love Jesus. Jay. Come if back Jesus, to Jesus, folks. Jay, if Jesus Listen, we talk King about the Bible. What, what is our God? But God. the real story is yeah. Jesus. Are we taking oh, questions? Everything we do, we do for Jesus. So what about do you story? love him? Absolutely. What about Christ? Why do you love him? Okay. Because he loved we me first that. and he gave we his life You love him, we got that. No problem. He redeemed me. We got no problem in that. Jesus Christ saved me, he redeemed me, and he can save you as well. Okay, thank you. You don't have to be lost in your sin. I want to be saved. God commands all of you to repent. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Back to Jesus. Right. 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 Believe when he died and rose again. Believe when he saved him. Save me. God did save come to earth. My God's a big, big God. My God can do anything within his saved. will. Can you answer my question? Go ahead. What's your okay. question? Wait, 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 wait. question? Now first. No, no. How are we faced on that? We are. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. No, no, no. My question. My question. My question. My question. You believe Jesus is God as you've been preaching. God man. God man. Okay. Well, that's an oxymoron. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. To me, it's an oxymoron. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, it's not the Bible. It's not the Bible. My question is. Okay. My question. Okay. When Jesus was in Mary's stomach, yes. was he God then? Yes. When he came out of Mary, yes. through natural process, always God. Always God. Always. When Mary was cleaning his backside, yes. Uh, Still God. Yes. Okay. 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 Wait. 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 Was he fully God when he was growing in knowledge? Yes. Yes. Right. So God can be ignorant. No. So, but he grew in knowledge. You hear what I said? But he grew in knowledge. Hold on, okay. God, Jesus Christ, is right. God and man. Right. His humanity grew, developed. How do we? How do we decide? Right. Okay. Let, let, the let him finish. The Quran, right? It's the word of God, right? Right. The eternal word of God, yes. right? It became a book. Yes. Right. Yes. It's a book. If I rip up your Quran, is it, it still the word of God? 
is still the word of Why? God. Because the book is not the word of God, the words are. So that's the answer. The soul, the, the manifestation, the right. physical Jesus, right. the man okay. is a human being. Okay. He eats, he drinks. Why do you call him fully God then? Because the word of God, the Kalim the word of God is eternal. Jesus Christ was the eternal word of God. Okay. He became flesh. Okay. He's a, he's a person with two natures. Right. You're referring to his human nature. Okay. The human nature is okay. eats and Next drinks. Next question. Did I answer your question? No. No. He answered the Question. Let me you don't like the answer, but he answered the question. Wait, 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 wait. My question, my question doesn't finish. This man's been waiting. Democracy, democracy. Okay, okay. You wanted it. Okay, no problem. My question is an answer. I must. I'll wait. I must warn you. Okay. That I'm a plague on all your houses. Whatever. Yeah, because I'm not under the curse of the law, so I'm fine. Go ahead. Because the curse of the law. Because. I'm a rationalist okay. and an atheist. Okay. Now, that's what your worldview. Uh, okay. What, 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 I, what I've got to ask you yeah. is, where was the Garden of Eden? Where was the Garden of Eden is believed to have been in Mesopotamia, somewhere in Mesopotamia. Well, no, but that somewhere is not really good. No, no, no. You don't really know. Of course, of course, okay. he must be. Okay. Okay. So what's okay. the point? Okay. What, what did, what would, what did uh, Adam and Eve look like? What race were they? They were humans. No, no. What race? You don't know any race. No, no, no. No, no. It's just one race. There's only one race. No, no, no. No, no, no. What ethnicity were they? We don't know. We're not told. Oh, well, how come? There were no ethnicity. Of course, no, no, no. No, no. Take a guess. What ethnicity were they? Yeah. Of course you can. You must have an image in your mind. No, I don't. Were they Chinese? I don't know. Were they Chinese? I were they Aboriginal? I don't know. Were they, uh, were they black? I don't know. Were they this black? question don't, don't, don't make sense. No, no, no. no. Questions no, no. don't make sense. No, no, no. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Please. Please. How long is this please, discussion? Please. Because what, I waited. What, what, what language? We don't know the language. What do you do? Listen. So, so far, I've asked you where the Garden of Eden. You can't tell. We don't know. We're not told exactly. So far, I've asked you. Hold on. So far, I've asked you what ethnicity it were having in the We don't know. You can't tell me. No. What language do they speak? We don't know. You can't tell me. You, what, what language do the snakes speak? What? what language do the snakes speak? We don't know. Of course you know. What is you it? You must know. What is it? No, you know. I'm telling you, you we don't you, know. We're you, not told. No, no, no. Let's He's listen. answering your question. Let's, let's, I'm answering no, no, your no, question. No, 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 no. Ignorance is not saying. No, no, no. Listen. 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 What evidence? What empirical? Um, no. Yes. 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 Only we only told, we only know what, 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 what empirical so hold on what empirical what archaeological what anthropological what paleontological or paleontological evidence do you have for the garden of Eden? where is it i just told you we don't know of course you know but we, you, but we you, do you, know what, what we do know how do you, what we don't know what geneticists have told us that all humans come from one common pair listen, a male and a female no, that's, that's like nonsense yeah. that's and nonsense that's, that's nonsense not nonsense absolutely that's not nonsense, nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Yeah. Absolute nonsense. Yeah. Are you talking about mitochondrial leaves? Mitochondrial leaves. Yes. It's contentious. It is contentious. However, the brain damage Christian. Really? Listen, you would have done it. There's an home project in Washington. However, I've asked you for evidence. He's answering your question. I've asked you for evidence. No, you haven't. I've got far more. He's saying he doesn't know. He's saying he doesn't know. Why does your God love slavery? Why does he love slavery? Why does he love slavery? Okay, well, let's 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 go to the point. What is he saying, Galatians? No, no, no. Okay, that's, no, a, I'm no, sorry. No, that's no, another no, question. No, to be no, fair, okay, to be okay, fair, you have to come back to me. Okay, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's another question. Hold on, hold on. That's another question, one more, one more, man. One more, one more, one more, one more. One more. No. Now I'll hand it over to you. One more. Okay. This question no. is gonna. Let's 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 about, let's discuss your God's love of slavery. Now. Let's go to. Have you got your Bible? No, but I know you're okay. going to. Are you going to Exodus? No, 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 no. no, no come on. There, there, there's a whole menu no, no. of them. Listen, there's a whole menu listen, of them. Listen, listen you're let's, an atheist, right? Let's let's let's. He's an atheist, yes, right? Yes, 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 but let's let's see the morality of your God. Leviticus. But why is it bad? I mean, Leviticus. What's your basis for morality? Chapter 25. I'm sure he's aware your question is invalid. Let's read what your God commands. My right. Okay. Your, your male, your male and female slaves are to come from nations around you. From them. 
you may buy your slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living amongst you. You and members of your their clan born into your country. And they will become your property. You can will them to your children as inherited property and make them slaves for life. But you must not rule over your fellow Israelites ruthlessly. Now, no, 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 hold on. Okay. No, no, it's the same one. No, no. Finish your question, wait for his answer and take his answer. Let's read on. Let's, let's, let's read on. Let's read on. Well, you made your point clear, no, man. No, 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 I haven't finished. Leviticus 20, I know the verse. Listen, listen. listen. What? Why does, why does, why okay, can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? Why does your God love slavery? That's the question. We're reading first of all from the Old Testament. Okay, right? and, 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 and Jesus. Would you let him answer? Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him start answering. No, 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 Talk to the crowd. Don't talk to him. We're not. No, no, we're not here just for you. There's a lot of other people. Okay, go on, answer the question. We got a question. We're under the old covenant. The old covenant. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Let me. No, 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 no. Yes, you are. Let him answer. Does Jesus say he's fulfilled that? He's fulfilled that. In Matthew 5. Yes, you are. Who do we follow? Do we follow Moses? Let's see what. Do we follow the old covenant? Do we have slavery today? No. And why is it we don't have slavery today? Because Christianity is Because what did Paul say in Galatians 3.28? Listen, there's no difference. Listen. Slave or free, all are equal in Jesus Christ. Listen, you're, what did Paul say in Philemon? Listen, your, ter your terrorist country, your terrorist country was built on slavery. Your terrorist country was built on slavery. So he redefines the relationship, not master to slave. Brother to brother. Brother to brother. You're now brother. So he redefines the whole relationship. Correct. They are now brothers in Christ. Correct. So you don't believe in slavery anymore. Because why? Because you follow Moses? Because you follow Jesus. It's so simple, isn't it? Let's read from the New Testament. Okay, now, what's your question? Next question. Next question. Wait, 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 your, wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. Wait for your turn. So that Jesus came to bring the old book. He came to no, he fulfill. He came to bring the old, fulfill the old book. Okay? So, good. So, and that is everything in the book. Now. No, 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 no. We, we, we run into. You're scared. You're scared. No, you're, you're, you take so long. Go ahead, and on your next question. Hurry up. My next question. My next question. My next question. Colossians. Okay, you like to hurry yourself. Got the point. Let's go on. Tony, next this question. is done. Tony, what's your question? Next question. My question. Excuse me. Give, give him a chance. Yeah, is there another question besides yeah. London and this character? Your country was built on slavery. My country is built on slavery. Your 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 Christian country is built on slavery. You love slavery. My last question. We hate slavery. You love 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 it. Because we love Jesus! Jesus we follow! You hate slavery in the name of Jesus! Next question. There you go. And why did Wilberforce fight against slavery in this country? Why did Wilberforce fight against slavery? United States loves slavery. Why did Wilberforce fight against slavery? Why did Wilberforce fight against slavery? Because of their Judeo-Christian conviction. Did Islam abolish slavery? No, it didn't. Did the atheists abolish slavery? Never. Have the atheists ever abolished slavery? Only Christians have. Thank God for Jesus. It is because of Jesus. Tony, it's because of Jesus we don't have slavery today. Tony, absolutely not. We're agreed on that. What's your question? Your country lost slavery. By the way, we've eradicated slavery. By the way, because of Jesus, but Islam is bringing it back. ISIS is bringing it back because they're following the Quran. We want to. We want to get into those verses. Tony, I've known Jay since last eight years. I know them all. Okay, I know Jay can lie without any remorse. Exactly. I know that. Okay. What? This is my opinion. Your, he your can lie your without remorse. Is a terrorist I don't know you enough. I don't. Okay. The United States he just lied is a terrorist in front of you. abomination. He just lied I agree. I agree. In front of it, you. It is. We're the agree. New Testament. It, 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 does not I agree. Not I agree. And you agree? And I don't. The letters of Paul defend America. America. I defend yeah, Jesus. I, I, yeah, yeah, can no. you please but, correct him? But the I'm Bible, asking you a question. Right. Can you please correct him that the New Testament does not abolish slavery? Rather, it regulates. It does not. Okay. Wait. Wait. Let me read. Let me read it. Let me read. Let me read the verse. Let me read. No. 
Let me read the verse. 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 Answer the question, please. Answer the question. Yes. Read the verse, please. And then would you let him answer it? My request. My request. Yes. In Galatians 3:28, Paul says that in Christ there is no Jew, no Gentile, no slave, no free, no male, no female. I understand that. That is an incredible statement. Okay. No. No. Secondly, secondly, was there a master-slave relationship in place in the Roman Empire? Yes, there was. Yes. Early Christians. Let me answer that. Early Christians worked with in the system. Right. And Paul said to the slaves and the masters, yes. masters treat your slaves with respect and as brothers because you two have a master in heaven. But Paul said in 1 Corinthians 7, hold on, in 1 Corinthians 7, hold on, he said, if you can purchase your freedom, then do so. Okay, fine. So fine. Paul was fine. saying, what else did he say? Paul was implying to liberate I, I, slaves. Why hide information? I'm not what, hiding. I've got What did Paul say to slaves? To submit to their masters. Thank you. And to okay, let me read. Let me read. But finish, finish what the rest is saying. Then what he's saying. No longer are you master or slave. You are now brothers in Christ. Read the whole verse. Tony, read the whole verse. You are a liar! You are a wicked liar! Let me read the whole verse. Why are you lying? That is his job! I already answered it. Yes. Let me read it. Let me read it. Let me read it. So that's not abolishing. 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 I have no problem with that. Let me No free man. Now, Tony, my point was when he lies, tell him you're lying. He said it. He said the New Testament abolished it. In the New Testament, the New exactly. Testament does exactly. abolish it. He says the New Testament abolished it. In the Quran, 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 the Thank God no, for no, Jesus. I agree with you. Have you noticed? I agree with you. Have you noticed? We started with the Chronic account. We started with the classical account on the cross. We came full circle, did we not? Because we showed that they did not want to deal with these dates. Because the classical account does say that the Quran was complete. Right. I was saying, and many times I've said, to only four provinces. Right. It's now nine provinces. Right. Which means they've got to come up with nine right. manuscripts. Right. That's even harder for them. Right. Can they find one manuscript? They haven't found one. From the 7th century. No. Complete. No. And unchanged. No. Well, find even the ones from the 8th century. The even the 99th no. 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 we're talking no. about. We don't have That's one. from the 8th century. Right. From the early to late, eight, uh, mid 8th century. How many years after Uthman? Six to a hundred years after the flood. Right, right. We're still waiting for that, that original help, manuscript. That won't help you. We're still waiting for one of the nine manuscripts. Right, none whatsoever. There's no excuse by no. the sixth century not to find the original manuscript. That's correct. Because they didn't need papyrus there. No. Everything was written in parchment no. and in vellum. No. We don't have that problem, thank have God. Have and by the way, that's why we're Muslims. Your first time is what do you think? Yeah, very good. Did you like this crowd? Oh, that's it for with you. They're great. They're great people. God bless you folks. We'll see you next week. Who is that God? Jesus.